Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Fresco and today we will focus on uh, the partial selection. So let's uh, immediately draw something. I will use the polyline. We already know how to use and draw a polyline. If you have missed the video uh, in regards to polyline, uh, please uh, go and check it. And so here is our closed uh, polyline. Double click, uh, just uh, a quick note. Uh, remember, you can always uh, change, uh, you know, the polyline or anything basically. Uh, double clicking on the geometry from the list uh, on the right panel or directly in the working area. Uh, but uh, what uh, we can do if we want to select uh, uh, only part of this geometry, not the whole thing, because if I move the cursor on top of the geometry, we see that everything will be highlighted. So the first option is to press and hold the, the control button on the keyboard. So as you can see, now I'm holding it down and I'm able to select each individual entity. And I can actually select even more than one. But this is fine, so if uh, uh, I have to apply my machining to do to these two uh, entities, this is the way to do it, and it's probably faster. But what if, uh, for instance, I want to start uh, from the center of this line and uh, end my machining to the center of the circle? In this case, instead of using uh, the control button, we have the partial selection function. So if we use this one, we are able to select, first of all, which one is uh, the geometry uh, that we need to partially select. Once we have done that, we can determine where we want to start and where we want to finish. When we confirm, we will see that now we got a new geometry, which is basically what we need in order to apply eventually our machining. This is it for this video. In the next video, we will start to see uh, the modifying parameters. Uh, so don't miss uh, the next videos because the more we move forward and the more interesting will be. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful. See you in the next video.